Hello all, my name is uh, Deep Ranjan. A very good morning to all of you. So in this uh, video, I am going to explain you uh, another project that is called as Speech Emotion Recognition. And for that, uh, I am going to use here, uh, like we are going to use here extensively, extensively Librosa. Librosa is a library that we are going to use for any kind of a uh, sound, a speech, kind of uh, like if we are going to deal with any kind of uh, audio kind of data audio music speech kind of data for that we are going to use librosha library okay so what i have uh, done here i have uh, taken a data set okay and the data set name is rapdex emotional let let me uh, read it yeah rapdex emotional speech audio actually uh, this is a very huge data set it's almost uh, 24 gb of data set is available it's in in its uh, official website okay uh, but uh, somewhere uh, i got a sample of this data set uh, this is the drive link that i will share it in the description also okay so it's just a uh, sample data set that i have taken and it's of around uh, uh, close to 70 or 80 mb okay so we can just uh, uh, do uh, analysis part like a try to build a model on the sample data set then we'll go for the uh, high data set like a large data set right so what i am doing here uh, first of all uh, i have uh, kept those data set i have downloaded this data set and kept it in a like, google drive okay so here i have kept it okay fine so uh, now i have imported some of the libraries that we are going to use so for that we are going to use here librosa sound file this is also for the audio audio kind of analysis os globe and pickle so os is for like a kind of a file like if you are going to check with the file or the path or kind of and globe is also same for and pickle is a format like a, a we are going to save our model into pickle format right so that's why we are going to input here pickle and numpy you know for the arrays and all that we are going to use and from scalon library we are going to use model selection train test split and model wise we are going to use here mlp classified that is multi-layer prosectrons right that we are going to use here and accuracy wise accuracy score okay so first thing first uh, what i have used here is a feature extractor method extract feature method i have uh, written here so inside that we are passing here a file name uh, the, uh, the music audio file name and mfcc chroma and mel okay if we pass these three parameters so that means simply we want uh, our audio in these many formats like uh, it will try to generate uh, like a, some kind of a frequency or some kind of array like a, some kind of a floating point value based on these parameters like mfc values and chroma and mel this kind of a things and these all are a very huge topic so for that i can make a video but i need some time for that okay so mostly we use these things for the audio analysis only okay and in my previous video also i have used about that one was i have created with the music classification so inside that i was using the mel one okay it's fine so th this is the uh, function so what i am doing here just uh, taking the file name and convert uh, taking the data tape type of uh, float 32 and if the chroma is true and if mfcc is true if chroma if mel this kind of a true then this kind of a, uh, like a uh, like a features it will generate from this that that audio this kind of uh, information it will generate from that okay and nothing it will do it will just uh, give us uh, the result okay so like uh, in our in this data set we have uh, like uh, eight levels like eight uh, classes we have neutral calm happy sad angry fearful disgust and surprise so in a uh, like in a original data set we have a uh, eight uh, this uh, eight classes right but here we are using a sample of the data set we so we have only four classes here that we are going to use here that is calm happy fearful and discuss that i have mentioned in the observed emotions right okay so now what i am doing here loading our data set right so here i am passing our uh, model sorry uh, all the 
audio files so inside this folder this one uh, there are various subfolder of actor actor 1 and actor 2 this kind of thing and inside that various uh, so like image sorry uh, audios are present that in the wav format okay so i'm just passing those uh, in file name here so it will just uh, uh, read those files name by using this file and then it split it okay nothing else it will do and if for and what i'm checking here so if uh, like uh, if the emotion this emotion if emotion not in observed emotion so if these involve inform like like if these are present right so if these uh, values are present then it will continue uh, otherwise it will skip those things right so after that we are using uh, calling our feature extractor method extract features method this one okay so whatever file that belongs to these many this categories that will be passed to this this function and will getting uh, some kind of uh, information from there like a kind of uh, array so this kind of information we will get okay it's a kind of uh, uh, two dimensional array exactly it is okay so we will get this kind of value so we can't uh, like uh, we can't read it okay uh, but we can't understand it but you can understand it is giving us a, a value in a 2d array okay so here we are appending all these values x in x and uh, for y this is the y column the level column we are appending it and after that what we are doing uh, here it is a splitting we are going to do here trend rest split so based on our test size it will just uh, just split our data set so what we are doing here so this is also a function load data folder so what we are doing here load data we are calling and inside that we are passing here test size of 0.25 so what we are doing here we are dividing our complete data set into 75 or 25 ratio okay 75 is to 25 ratio okay so i have just uh, like a did the extreme so just to see what kind of information exactly it is. anyhow we won't be able to understand it but uh, this is a 2d array we are getting so we'll just checking the shape of the train and the test so you can see uh, say for training uh, we have taken a 5 576 audio files and for the testing we have taken 192 audio files okay and feature extracted so whatever features get extracted extreme.zip so number of columns it is talking about that right so number of columns is 180 exactly it is so 576 rows are there and 180 columns are there right so fine so now uh, what we are going here uh, we are just calling our mlp classifier and inside that we are passing few of the parameters one is alpha value 0 0.01 these are the uh, tunable parameters so you can change it okay uh, if you are not getting better accuracy you can just change it and do some experiment on that and otherwise you can go for uh, some hyper parameter tuning like a kind of a grid search cv and a randomized search cv this are bayesian search CV. this kind of a uh, things you can uh, do that and you'll get the uh, best parameter from them okay and you'll just put it there and you will get a better result okay nothing else otherwise you can do some experiment based on that so what i have done here we have taken a batch size of 250 fln value is uh is one one e to power 0 0.8 or something whatever it's whatever value exactly it is hidden layers we are using 300 learning rate we are using adaptive and max iteration we have taken of 500 just calling model dot fit extrain and what's it after fit, fitting the model uh, now we are going to test it right so uh, we have already divided our data set into extrain and extrain and x test okay train and test so we are testing our model on the x test value okay so this prediction we got okay this kind of a prediction calm discussed happy this kind of a prediction we got so now we are checking about the accuracy what all accuracy we are getting okay so accuracy wise we are getting 73 for 44 so it's not that good but it is fine fine we can do some uh, hyper parameter kind of a thing like a grid search cv and the randomized source this kind of thing will definitely get an increase in the accuracy part and also checking here the f1 score so here in the f1 score what we are going to we are taking a four classes here so based uh, on 
for each class it is giving us a f1 score for class number 0 it is giving a like a 81 percent and 65 70 and 72 this percent of f1 score it is giving us okay so what i have done here i am just like a uh, trying to create a data frame like a kind of a data frame where i'm just uh, going to see what all uh, like uh, predictions and our uh, our actual value are matching just to check it okay nothing else we are doing so if you can see here uh, i have just plotted a 21 or uh, 20 of that uh, but uh, in our test we have 192 192 values okay i have taken just a 21 and 20 values okay so you can see here calm calm discussion so there is some difference also like the, in this one you can see there is a so because we are getting accuracy of only 73 percent so definitely there will be some uh some issue with that if you get uh if you do some more experiment on that then definitely will get a better accuracy and the better result but still i can say that my model is performing uh, close to good okay it's good it's good one so now what i am doing here I'm just saving my model okay into the that's why i've imported here a pickle file and the, my model name i have passed here model for prediction one dot sab okay wb is for right binary file format pickle.dump so model will be saved so you can see here this is the model that uh, is saved okay so you can see here model for prediction 1.sav okay that's why so i'm just loading his uh, our model okay just to check okay just for the prediction purpose and this model you can use for uh, uh, flask integration also and for flask integration i have already created a video for that you can check the playlist okay so what i have done here i have just loaded the model okay and taken the uh, calling the same function extract feature okay so inside that extract feature i am just passing that audio and this mfcc true comma true and the melt true i told you these things will be true so definitely it will give some kind of uh, information will get some kind of uh, array and this gives us a uh, array of one dimensional okay but we need to convert it into a 2d i think so, yeah yeah we are going to convert into 2d so we are doing some uh, reshape operation here just uh, and after that uh, passing it inside the model so it will predict happy so this is the class let me take some uh, other ones also okay feature extract methods not uh, let, me, let me run it once again okay i think it's not it is not run okay so let me run it once again then definitely it will work i'm sure for sure yeah you can see that it's happy uh like like that you can test with uh, other other uh, like kind of kind of uh, web files in audio files let me check with this one also okay okay so this is the discussed class okay so uh, like that you can test with different different uh, audio files you will check it uh, how the model is performing uh, for sure your model is not good as of now it's a 73 percent accuracy there is a kind of average model but still we can improve it by using hyperparameter tuning so i think that is uh, it is good for this uh, video i have already pro i will provide the each and every like this collab file and the data set and everything in the description box so uh, thank you guys bye bye